we have a trade to announce. The Habs have made another deal leading up to the deadline, which is tomorrow, this time a defenseman, and it is John Merrill out of Detroit. The Habs send the other way a fifth round pick and prospect Hayden Verbeek. Verbeek, I, there's not much to say, 23 year old left-handed centerman. He's been good in Laval, but he spent some time over the past few years going between Laval and the ECHL. Again, there are center prospects aplenty right now in Montreal. Not a big loss, and they have plenty of picks, so the price isn't really much to speak of. Not much time to spend on that. The real importance here is the defensemen Montreal have gotten from Detroit. John Merrill's had a kind of weird career. Uh, a New Jersey guy back in the day ended up being claimed in the expansion draft by Vegas, and sort of this year went to Detroit. Uh, you might be a little worried about, ah, Detroit, uh, they're kind of bad. Why would we get a defenseman from there? Been playing top four minutes, and this is a terrible metric, but he's a plus two in his plus minus rating. Something important I should probably mention, one year, $925,000 is John Merrill's salary. Nothing, probably just a rental. Back to the rest of the video. Now, other charts and stuff, stuff so, you know, I'll put that all on the screen now. Uh, and what does this all mean? Well, I'll tell you. John Merrill is a shut down defenseman who can play in your top four, like shot suppression, all that sort of stuff. He's just really good at it. And with the way the Habs have been playing lately, especially last night's game versus the Jets, uh, they need a defenseman who can actually defend and sort of they can limit scoring chances for the other team because right now, uh, Shea Weber and Jeff Petrie are making plays for the other team rather than actually shutting them down. And it's, where does he play? I mean, there isn't a lot of enthusiasm here because it, it, this team, John Merrill is a fine pickup. I mean, a fifth and a prospect that might not ever see your team's roster is fine. It's another one of these Bergevin depth moves, but I think right now it's just, it wasn't the right move. The Habs are in a really, weird position right now. They're in fourth in the division by a landslide, but they have a lot of important games coming up against the Flames who are nipping at Montreal's heels. And it feels like every opportunity the Habs have had this year with games in hand above, you know, teams up below or above them, they've sort of wasted them. Um, they could have been fighting at the top of the division, but they've just let every opportunity slip through their fingers. And right now it's just the power play has started looking bad. Again, um, Shea Weber continues to not look great. And I was really, really hoping that there'd be an acquisition of like a left-handed top four defenseman that could maybe play with Weber. It allows you to move Sherrod and Edmondson sort of down the lineup. That guy could help with the power play, get Weber off of it, help him manage his minutes, and maybe sort of just give him, I don't know what it is with Weber this year. The mental mistakes have just been God awful from a defenseman that he doesn't have his legs. No, but he's played over a thousand games. I mean, this is the boneheaded mistakes are costing this team on the back end. And then it just sort of reflects to the forwards that it's just there's there's no fire. Again, the deadline is not for another at the time I'm recording this. The dead the trade deadline is 24 and a half hours away. Uh, is this Montreal's only move? I freaking hope not. Because right now, I mean is the plan to play John Merrill with Shea Weber until Chirac comes back? Does this mean that when fully healthy, Kulak is out the lineup? One of your few offensive guys? Victor Mete was waived earlier today, so I think his time with this team is drawing very much to a near... Is he going to be part of a package? I've talked about how I love Sammy Vadnan. He's just been waived with his cap of $2 million. I mean... Do you maybe call up New Jersey and say, can we do some work with you retaining salary? That's an offensive guy, but at the same time, they waived him. I mean, uh, is he the right option anymore? I don't know. It's, it, there are a lot of questions around this team's defense right now. I think the last thing they need, you know, last night on, on headlines, Elliot Friedman very casually mentioned that the Habs apparently had called the Ducks about Ryan Getzlaff. Getzlav? Stall? Are we just going with all the sort of the slowest old, you know, early 2000 drafted players we can? They need a bit more speed. This was the bread and butter of this team, and uh, they're just sort of going away from that with the defense. You need a player, a defenseman who can skate the puck, who can work on the zone entries and all that, zone exits. I mean, 
there has to be another move, sh surely. Like, welcome to Montreal, John Merrill. I hate to be such a Debbie Downer on the guy. I mean, again, a solid depth pickup. But how many times have we heard that in Montreal? Solid depth player. You know, they brought in all these different forwards to try and help, but at this point, if you can't get someone on the back end to move the puck up, there's no point. They need a difference maker, another one on the left side. Uh, or is, I don't know, is the option, do they think Sherrod's going to do that? I mean, they don't want to seem to give any more responsibility to Romanov. I'm not, I, ser seriously, if there's not an another move coming, I, I don't really know how far this team is going to go. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say in the playoff series they're going to lose to the Leafs because I refuse to do that, even though I might have done it a few videos ago. I don't know. Um, but if Mark Bergevin saw the 5 nothing loss to the Jets and thought John Merrill is what's going to change everything, I'm a little concerned. Anyway, that's it. Uh, hopefully, I'm probably going to do something after the deadline tomorrow. Hopefully, I can talk about this move no one saw coming, and it's Bergevin pulling something big off, um, though my gut says that's not going to happen, and the Canadians are going to have how many consecutive disappointing deadlines. I don't like being negative in these videos, but that's just the impression I have after this. Um, good news. We'll end it with this. Caulfield looks great in the AHL, eh? Short King. Three goals for a point in two games. Both game winners. Um, he could probably help spark some offense on the team. Or just leave him in Laval because I don't know how much the team itself, the big club, are going to do. Laval are fun to watch. I encourage anyone to do that. But the main club are a little disappointing right now. Um, please do something, Bergerman. Please. I want one thing. And that's a puck mover. Left-handed. I don't care who it is. Just make sure they can do it. That's, that's everything. No hoobla, no fanfare. I hope you enjoyed the video, though. I did, you know, more than I enjoyed having to talk about the state of affairs right now in Montreal. Uh, you can like the video, you can subscribe, and then every time there's a new one of these, it shows up in your YouTube feed. That's pretty awesome. Check out the podcast, link in the description to all that type of stuff, where we actually talked a bit about Montreal and actually previewed the trade deadline around the league. What's going to happen with Taylor Hall? Who knows? Are there going to be any trades at all? I doubt it. <laughs> but that's everything. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.